Caesar is directed and written by the Coen Brothers and stars George Clooney, Josh Brolin, Scarlett Johansson, and Jonah Hill. And this film is essentially about... I have no clue what it's about. See, the... Let's get the goods... The Let's get the good parts out of the way first. The good stuff is being the writing. The writing is pretty funny and hilarious at a lot of times. I really enjoyed the writing of these characters and the situations that all these characters were supposed to be in. Uh, and, and let's continue that train of thought with characters. The characters are written pretty damn well. The production value in this film is beyond, beyond brilliant. You know, it's... It basically captures the feel of 1940s and 50s golden age film. And there's a lot of really cool, interesting historical stuff that I am not going to get into this, into this film, or into this, into this video, because I want to detract some time in this. Um, I think uh, the negatives of this film would have to be the tone of the, or not the tone, but the, the uneven pacing of the film. With the Coen brothers, you know, they're kind of hit and miss in the way they direct the film, and this is kind of one of those cases where it's kind of a miss. You know, it's that middle ground between miss and hit. Uh, it, when, you know, there's some scenes that are so good that I kind of wanted to stay in that scene. For example, there's a scene with Ray Fiennes uh, directing this guy who just can't seem to nail a goddamn line. And so he's, it's just this really funny back and forth between the actor and the director. I really love that scene. But then you go to the next scene, and it's just slow. It's just so slow. And it doesn't even transition well to those parts. But overall, I really did enjoy this film. I, I, I really did. Um, and probably my only complaint about it is the uneven... Uh, sort of plot structure and also character introductions. These these character introductions don't really make me care about any of the characters. In fact, the guy they set up to be the uh, one of the villains of the film, genuinely, I didn't give a care about because he didn't spend enough time, you know, kind of explaining anything. But I guess that's kind of what the magic of this film is, is because this is essentially, again, a day in the life of a Hollywood system of the 1940s and 1950s. You're not supposed to pay attention to those little small details. You're supposed to figure on the broad picture. This is a full day of of a of a typical studio day that we're supposed to be getting. So I think it makes sense to have kind of that uneven editing. But in terms of a film, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of split on that one, guys. Uh, so uh, final score for this one is going to be... An 8 out of 10. It's not a perfect film by any standards. In fact, there's a lot of really uneven areas and then other stuff I didn't have time to get into. Uh, but essentially, I enjoyed this film to a fault. Is it the greatest Coen Brothers film? No. Uh, you can decide for yourself what uh, the greatest Coen Brothers film is. Uh, but essentially, this isn't the one for me. It's a good film. Don't get me wrong. I might buy it later down the road when it's already out in Redbox for a month. But, essentially, I really enjoyed the film. I love the characters, I love the actors, I love the writing, I love the direction of the film. It's just some of the pacing was not really that well thought, thought through. So, uh, let me know down in the comments what your favorite Coen Brothers film is. Uh, and try to stay away from The Big Lebowski. Because everyone's going to say The Big Lebowski, and all I'm going to get is Big Lebowski on my page. So... And if you don't want to answer that question, answer this one. What is your favorite Coen Brothers character? And you could use Hail Caesar as an example. So, peace out.